Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to select cases based on dates as well as time. Now, date by the by that I mean is um, the day, month, year, as in this column here, and for time I mean hour, minute, seconds, as uh, indicated in this variable here. Now, to select cases based on uh, ranges of time period. It's similar uh, as selecting case based on scores, but you do have to add some extra terms in the SPSS uh, Select Cases Graphical User Interface menu option. So go into Data, Select Cases. If condition is satisfied, now what you need to use is is a function, and it's in a function group called Search and the actual function that you need is range. And range is going to ask for three pieces of information. One is, in the first question mark, what's the name of the variable that you want to select a range from? And then the second piece of information is the nature of the date variable and the low end that you're interested in and then secondarily the high end that you're interested in. Now in this example uh, my data is set up in such a way that it's day, month, year. So I have to tell SPSS that. So date dot day, month, year. And then I have to specify to SPSS what is the low range of the date. And in this example, I'm uh, interested in everyone who's between January 1st, 1981 at the low end and June 30th, 1989 at the high end. So at the low end, I want January 1st, 1981. And I'm going to close that off in parentheses. And now I'm going to choose my high end date.dmy. The high end is 30th of June 1989. Now I need to add an extra parentheses here to close off this parentheses here. Okay, so this is what. Um, the syntax looks like. It's basically syntax. You can do this in the syntax editor, uh, it, but you're doing it in the select case if uh, menu-driven approach. Uh, so it's a bit clunky. It's a little more complicated than choosing scores, that's for sure. Uh, but it, it works quite well, and, um, and I think once you have the main elements to it, the date.dmy and specifications low to high, um, it's pretty straightforward. Click on Continue and click on OK. And we can see that SPSS chose the time periods um, that I specified. So these people that are lower than 1981 have been um, selected off. And uh, the people that are higher than June 30th, 1989 are also deselected. Now for a time period uh, selection, it's very similar. You just have to choose uh, a different uh, date.dmy uh, piece of code. So go into Select Cases, or Syntax really. Uh, go into it, uh, Select Cases and specify your variable. So in this case, I'm interested in time. That's the second variable that I've got over here. So I've got time period here. And I'm uh, arbitrarily choosing um, the the time periods, I'm looking on a piece of paper here that I've actually written down the time periods I'm interested in, but we we actually have to specify as well that the date is changing, so we need to change that to time, and HMS, hour, minute, seconds. So again, I've called my variable time, uh, which is just a coincidence uh, that it's also the same name as the syntax operator for that, and then I've got to add uh, hour, month, second, and the time periods I'm interested in are uh, 1.30 and uh, 0 seconds, and now I've got to change this as well, time, hours, minutes, seconds, and the upper end is 9 o'clock in the morning, 9.30 and no seconds. Alright, so my time periods 1.30 to 9.30 is what I'm interested in selecting. So we click on Continue and click on OK. And we can see that those 
cases that are associated with somewhere between um, 1.30 and 9.30 in the morning are selected and everyone else is deselected. So that's how you choose ranges in uh, date periods and time periods. It's a little bit more complicated, but um, uh, once you know what you're doing, uh, it's, it's relatively straightforward. Thanks for watching.